So I had a pretty interesting couple of days and I got a few videos from a bunch of different places. It didn't go as planned. I'm gonna tell you a f story. This is not gonna be a regular vlog actually. This is just gonna be, this is gonna be more of a story. I'm gonna try and make this video quick because I gotta go for a party. I'm, I'm going to the club in a bit. That's why I'm dressed, I'm about to head out and I just wanna make this video so I can get it out of the way and well, y'all can have some content for New Year's. So sit your ass down. I'm about to tell you a story. It all started like three days ago. It was a day after a party. I had a, we had a late night party and we had fun. I had a fun time. Had a lot of water. Met some interesting people, like really fascinating stories. They had like really gone through shit and you know, they've accomplished what they want. I mean, I met a girl who goes to NYU and that's drama, which is my dream. The next day, I think I woke up and basically the people I was staying for was going for a wedding at San Diego. Instant thought that came to me was just like, let's go to San Diego. I packed my bags and literally like two hours later, I was on a car with this girl and she took me to San Diego downtown where I tried Korean food for the first time. Authentic Korean food. Kind of like opened up to her about like my whole, you know, vlogging life. Apparently she has always wanted to start a sort of food vlog kind of YouTube channel. She pulled out her GoPro and I pulled out my camera and we just started recording. The angles are not great. Uh, we, I wasn't focused on that, I was more focused on having the food. So I'm gonna roll that clip. I never thought I'd do this with someone else. <laughs> so yeah guys, so this random girl just picked me up on the road. <laughs> Took me to this dodgy ass place, right? It's called Tofu House. That is fish So we have fish cake, kimchi. Radish. Radish, cucumber, kimchi. Okay. Ah, shit. It doesn't taste like fish. Okay, this is imitation. <laughs> There's that. Oh. I don't know how you do that. I, I don't know, I go. <laughs> so, radish, cream, seed. See that spice. <laughs> oh. So, I'm gasping. <laughs> Oh, that's good. There you go. Now we got a full meal here. Oh, that smells good. Come here. Oh. Yeah, that, that's just good. So you're supposed to mix this all together? Wait, what? This? Yeah, party hot pot. A meat party hot pot. So it just has a bunch of everything, I guess. They asked me which spice. I said put one medium, one spicy. I don't know which one's medium, which one's spicy. Oh shoot, I usually get it mild. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Angela, you're gonna kill me now. <laughs> you're hilarious. I cannot. What your confidence you. is like the root. The I need to take some time. I need to like come. I, okay, in part of the video, like I called some two guys out and I asked them their opinion on the shoe. They said I was like, <laughs> girl's opinion here about that. She took me and she dropped me at San Diego downtown. Now, I had no plan. I had no idea I was going to San Diego the day before. But I was just, you know what, I took every opportunity I could. Every time I had a chance to do something different, I did. I never had, I didn't want to have any regrets. So whenever opportunity, I took the opportunity. I'm on this whole basis where I'll just take every opportunity I could. And whenever I want to try something new, I will always do that new thing. And I, I enjoyed it, because I had a bit of fun. I had a bag with me and I didn't want to walk around with bags. So what I did was I went to the Hyatt Hotel, which I believe is a five story, five, uh, five star hotel. I needed to keep my stuff somewhere, so you know, an idea came to me, I'm just gonna go to a hotel and ask them to keep my bags. I had a question, uh, so I, I have some people staying at the Hyatt, and like, they're getting late, and I mean, so they're getting late by like two hours, so I wanna go out, is there any place I can keep this bag? After I kept my bags, I, I roamed around downtown San Diego, I, I, I checked a few places out, I had some food, I didn't take any videos of that unfortunately. I wasn't in the mood to vlog at that point, so I didn't take any videos. I've never seen so many clubs down one road ever in my life before. There were like, I wouldn't say like, 10 clubs just in one street. And there were a bunch of people going out partying, people barely adding anything, and I want to go hit the club. 
So what I did was I head back to the hotel and I asked him, can I borrow my bag for a second? I need, I need to get something. So I got my bag. I, I went to the washroom of the hotel and I changed. I headed downtown and I've never seen so many people out at that time. And I, it was like 12 a.m. and there were like hundreds of people on the street just walking, you know, in the party outfits, dead drunk. Bunch of like people my age, maybe slightly older, and like everyone coming in and out of clubs, and you know yelling, talking. It was, it, it was. I love the energy. There were so many people. It was nice. They were. It was so energetic. I was walking the road, and out there were a bunch of like, I'm, I'm not shitting you when I say this. Like, probably around hundred people just walked out of this like alley, mostly girls. And I, I was just chilling by the road, and all those girls just came by. I was wearing my glass, pretending like I didn't notice so many pretty girls, you know what I'm saying? This bunch of girls, they were drunk and they were she, they were all on each other, you know, they're friends, they're all friends, right? So one of these girls just looks me up and down, you know, just like... I believe she thought she was whispering to her friend, but she goes, he's cute. And I was just like, ow! Oh. Okay. Kind of went along with them, like, I had some fun, I'm not gonna talk about it in detail. And I ended up at the basement. It's a club in San Diego downtown. I was in the middle of San Diego downtown, no one I knew. Then I got a call saying that the hotel that I was supposed to stay in didn't have a room. I spoke to the girl that dropped me off against we go, and um, she basically picked me up then. And then she took me back to the hotel to get my bag. When I took the bag, the guy who was maintaining the bags was just like, oh, so you're gonna have a, ni a good night at the Hyatt, and uh, that's a hotel. And I was just like, oh no, I got the wrong, I got the wrong hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and like he was just confused and I just walked out. That was fun. I mean, do dumb shit guys. Have fun. The people that I was staying with got a got a condo in that area. So I decided I I mean it was a long distance, it was like a one hour drive. At the condo that I was staying at, I met I met I mean I I went out, we went to a few restaurants, I went to the park, and I met a few dogs, so I'll just probably show some dogs here, you know. They were they were street dogs, loved them so much. I was staying with one dog, name was Sammy, lovely dog. I got to stay the night there and then I woke up the next day, we went to a few restaurants. That was pretty much San Diego for me. So then I came back on the 29th, I rested that day. The next day I had to travel to Anaheim, where I am right now. Well, I... I found out the place I was staying, it was pretty damn decent. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like, roll the clip. Hey guys, boy, R.A.D. Zoe's are here. Right now I'm at my Airbnb place, and it's a pretty sick place, but let me get, before I get to that, let, before I show you around, I'm just gonna tell you why I'm here. You're gonna expect to see Disneyland and some beaches probably, because there are a lot of beaches around here. So let me show you inside. It was pretty expensive, like I spent a decent buck around here. The reason I was outside was because the lighting was good. Here it's kind of dark. Look at the living room. Look at this. The decent couches. I got a f TV right here. They also said there's a dog here, but I, I haven't seen the dog yet. Look at that decent kitchen. Damn. You got the white sink, the fridge with probably food in it. Yeah, there's some food. I don't know if I can take the football. Let's see if I can take. I know, I lost him. This is, I think, well, I don't know. This is another living room. We have another TV over there, a bunch of couches, a few toys, stuff I think for the dog and stuff. Here's a small little house down there, probably better than my bed. You get small snacks, look at that, you get snacks. I get a bunch of snacks and candy and some recliner chairs to watch some TV. There's the kennel for the dog. It's a nice little kennel. I haven't seen the dog yet, I don't know where the dog is. So yeah, that's about the like the living space. This is a massive house. I think I'm gonna bring some people. I mean, I have some people coming here, but I'm gonna get some people, hopefully find some friends and bring them over. You know what I'm saying? I wanna show you outside. I haven't been outside yet, but it looks decent. So let me try to get myself, you know. Oh, there you go. It's pretty decent for some, but I'm paying. I mean, I'm just staying here alone. I mean, look at this. We have some drinks for me. I don't know if it's for me, but we have some margarita. I mean, who the f is gonna use it only I'm staying here for now at least like I have so much space I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this he said don't throw a party though but like we'll see we'll see it's a nice place but let me show you the room the room I think is spectacular I'm paying a decent buck but like again it's better than what I expected it's really better than what I expected check out this room 
ho ho we've got another f tv three f tvs a decent look at that bed it's some velvet shit ho ho what you know shit that was comfortable but like look we got tv got the bed carpet that flows Massive bed by the way, and then I got an area to you know do my some of my work here. I'm gonna go there do some videos. I'm here for like three days, so it's I mean I'll be this is probably gonna be really messy with a bunch of food and my laptop, all that stuff. And then we have me looking sexy as we got some store another TV, four TVs. You keeping count? Four TVs. I don't know what it's doing over there. I don't think it can be used, but there's a TV. I didn't say if it was worth oh, I think that's another room. Yeah. Look at this bit of another TV. Six TVs. I'm, I'm losing my mind on how many TVs there is. It's a TV house. Like every room has at least two. I hear the dog. The dog's in that room. I do not. I don't know what's in that room. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the dog. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for the dog. I, I think I'm gonna. I have to. I have to go to the f dog. It's barking. It's calling for me. It's, it's probably gonna eat me alive or gonna cuddle with me. We don't know what the f it's gonna do. But like, like, I have to. I have. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna do it. Hello. Look at that fellow. Look at him. He's a small ass dog. And I don't know who the f is barking at. But I didn't even know if I was supposed to let it out of its room. Like, should I put it back? I don't know what the f I'm gonna do. No, you can't go outside. Don't, no, he's running away from me. No, come back. Come back. It's fing running away. No, no, dog, doggy, doggy. Hello. You wanna, you wanna give me stop? It's the one with me. Oh, it's going back to its room. Go back to your room. Go back to your room. There you go. It's going back to its room. There you go. Who's your doggy? You can stand there. Look at. Okay, so another TV. Another bed. Another mirror it's 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 a good house you can imagine i'm not gonna tell you how much i spent on this house but you can you can imagine it's a big buck i'm gonna change now so i don't know where i'm gonna go so i'm gonna go actually look up some places to go i don't know if i'm gonna go downtown go to the beach or i don't know where the i'm gonna go i have no it's a dog again it's a dog it's following me everywhere look at that face do you think that's a cute ass face i don't know what kind of taste these people have in dogs but like, I don't know, I wouldn't get a dog like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna check up some places and uh, I'll probably be back with a suggestion like in a split second for you, so. It's, okay, so I was looking around and I found some places, like I wanna go to Long Beach. It's getting late, it's like almost, it's almost 5 p.m. The sun's gonna start setting in a bit, but I decided, you know what, I have to go. I found out there's a bus leaving in like 12 minutes. So yeah, I got ready. This is the outfit I'm wearing. It's uh, it's a bit more, you know, I can move around because I'm going to the beach, you know what I'm saying? So I am kind of prepared for anything. So I'm on, I'm on a run now. I had to get, the, get to the bus station in the next 12 minutes and I'm still recording, so I'm a dumbass, you know what I'm saying? Also, well, let me show you this washroom. It's kind of, it's a sexy ass washroom. Look at that. Look at that washroom. It's, I can do my morning routines here. Look beautiful as you know, and then you can take a shower here and then take a piss over there, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice ass room. Boys, I'm out here. I'm, I'm really cold. I, I regret wearing skinnies and I'm looking for the bus stop. And my internet is not working. You know, it's just classic me when shit don't go right, you know what I'm saying? I'm a bad example. But let's do it. The bus is on its way. I made it on time. It was, the bus was filled with a bunch of either Mexicans or Koreans and they were either thugs or poor people like I don't know what kind of bus I got into I'm not saying that Mexicans and Koreans are like thugs but I'm saying it's, they were thugs <laughs> you know so I, I was feeling a bit uncomfortable these guys start talking to me like 
you know, talk about the American system and stuff and he was getting pissed for some reason, like he was just standing in the window and all that stuff and I was getting uncomfortable, the life was way too wrong, I had another two hours on the bus so I got down. So I got off the bus, there was slight issue, like it was, it was like an hour already and like I was not even halfway through so it would have probably took me over maybe three hours to get there and another three hours to come back so it'll be like, it'll be the next day by then and like, I wouldn't have done shit so I decided not to go in the bus. I then went to uh, the Disney shopping district which is a massive complex full of shops dedicated to Disney and like I don't know I'm, I know it's crazy being me being a 19 year old talking about Disneyland like it seems childish but like when I was in there my whole childhood lit up I was happy like seeing all those kids I, I, never, got, I never got to go there as a kid and seeing all those kids go there it's nice but I never got that opportunity. A lot of Americans have. But like, it, it was really nice. It, I mean, when I was a kid, I was always dreaming about going to Disneyland. And even though I'm here 10 years later, it's, it still feels nice to have accomplished it, you know? So yeah, that's kind of the, the end of the vlog. So now I'm gonna get to the club. It's getting late, it's almost 12. So I'm gonna hit the club. So that's kind of the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, Leave a comment for whatever you want next, you know? And now don't forget to turn on notifications. You gotta get these vlogs, boy. You gotta get the bread.